Well, that's pretty much going to get it so for getting this wiring harness out. And you might think, why am I taking this wiring harness out? Because I'm going to make sure the thing ain't all boogered up. One more thing, and this is that damn uh, gas pedal. Three bolts holds it on. Cable attaches up here. That shouldn't be no issue getting that off. And it looks like 10 millimeter. I will be ordering a new uh, thing. I think I told you that in other videos. A new insulation pad from the firewall. I messed up on my diesel truck and I didn't put one in. I put that Dynamat stuff. It was kind of like Dynamat sound deadening. Uh, it don't do. It don't do the same job. It needs this uh, insulation pad. It's loud. I also bought a. I got an underhood mat for it. I just got a. Got a little plastic clip here. You got to pop out, and then the cable will come free. Pop that out of the bracket. Try and get the cable out. And before I forget it, I'm gonna go ahead and stick these nuts back on this bolts here, so I don't lose them. Now we gotta get this. Uh, Get this and fuse block. this fuse block undone before I start unwiring everything. It is screwed in. You just have to figure out, I think one screw's right here. Just figure out where it's screwed at. I think there's a screw on diagonally. Top right, one in the bottom left. And for those that think, I'll probably forget how this thing goes back together. It's a good chance. I did rewire the poor painless wiring kit in that other truck, that diesel truck. And there ain't nothing painless about a damn wiring kit, I'll tell you that. Even if, it, even if it says exactly where that wire is supposed to go, it don't mean shit. If the damn shit's wrong from the factory. small enough to unscrew that door switch and we'll have to go back and get some.
hope they don't break off like that one just did. place in that anyway. Now we got a little grommet right here we gotta get out. That right there is sharp, be careful with that. Right, that's done. We got a little ground wire hooked to this I didn't bring nothing big enough. Here, I'm going to cut my hands all the hell. Let's hook to this ground bus. That's got to come off. This is the bus, the ground bus, so don't lose that. Everything's pretty much undone on this end. We got some stuff up in here that's got to be undone. Work on this door switch. Now, like I said, it has spade connectors, but I don't get in there. I gotta hold it with something. Both came out. That's pretty damn good. Good. Let's sit here. That's a good table. I don't need a plate. And all we got here is a stick bar. Just got to work it out like that. And the yellow and black goes to the right hand side rear speakers. Green, light green going to the front speakers. And we'll get this. Uh, apparently, they wouldn't. There's only one wire on that one door hickey. Couldn't be right. Get this uh, mat out of here. Let's see how this merch brake attaches. We got a bolt right here, and we got two studs that protrude through the firewall and end up right here and here. And that's it. I've already cut the cable off, so it makes it a lot easier to pull it. I've undone the cable, 
The only thing, reason the cable's so hard is because this damn clip right here, when you got everything in here, you can't get to it because the uh, fuse block kind of in the way. But once you get everything out, it comes out pretty easy. So I'm going to get that out, and I'm going to, i got a couple brackets that are going to be removed so I can get the rest of this firewall stuff off. And uh, one kick panel over there with a vent. And we should have it off. I'll show you what it looks like when we get it done. All right, guys, got everything out. Got that kick panel off. Pretty much everything except for the visors have been stripped. I did find a spare key if anybody looking for one. <laughs> I guess if you don't leave your door locked, it'll be good to get in. But uh, yeah, everything's out and all that's left in here is trash. It's going to be easier to get the speakers out once I get the windshield off and clean out that tray and everything. So I'm just going to leave that like it is. Out here on the outside, the hinges are still here and the windshield wiper motor. Pretty much everything else is gone. And hopefully uh, next video we'll be putting this on the trailer and uh, taking it out to the shutter shop where I can weld these uh, cab mount nuts up. And then we'll get into this shop and start, after I wash it out good, then we'll start the process of getting the windshields out, the back glass, all the trim, all the trim. And uh, we'll go from there. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more.